Hey guys, Jason Creel, and this is the Lion Care Live. Of course, that's Paul Jameson behind me, and Paul is at my yard, and he came by. We did a little podcast, and just want to mention the Green Industry Podcast. You can check that out. But we wanted to, I wanted to pick Paul's brain, because he's got a lot of experience in mowing some really high-end properties. And I'm on my uh, not-so-high-end property, but I wanted to get him to tell me, like, if you were doing this property, like we were mowing it and maybe even doing some other things, how would you go about it to really make it pop? And you can maybe use this for your own yard or for your customer's yard. So let's get started right now. Well, Paul, welcome to Alabama. We are... Uh, hey. This is a, how's it feel to be in a championship state? It feels great. I wore my championship Toro shirt, my Toro hat. I'm yeah, feeling you, like a champion. You absolutely did. Okay, so before you criticize my yard, let me just explain to people that, that aren't familiar with the channel. We basically totally redid this, and it was uh, plugged with sod, and I had it looking really good last year. And then this this year we redid the house. So that's, you see that huge ball spot? That's that's the septic tank. The field lines were all in here. I've got big trucks driving through my yard. You got new water line. I mean, so, you know, it, it was the looking good. house needs painted. It China was thing. looking good. And then the big truck showed up and started driving through my yard. So anyway, but like, I, you see I've got a Bermuda yard. I know you dealt with a lot of that in, in the Atlanta area. But like, of course. what would you do? We're gonna walk around the yard and kind of talk about practical things. But like, if you really wanted to make this yard pop, what would you do? So here's a pro tip. I always look where the cars are coming from and, and when they're driving by, what angle are they going to look at the yard? Because that's where you want your main stripe to go. So the cars are going to be coming from down here. So we want to make our diagonal main stripe facing them. So they're driving and they turn that corner and they, they look out the window and they say, wow, it just hits them right away, the, 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 the angle of the stripe. Now for the health of the turf, the let's say we're going to cut it this week facing the driver coming that way then the next week kind of like a checkered board like the Atlanta Braves outfield right what well, you can do it the other way for the health of the turf and you could even do it a third direction but even if I did that Jason I might still mow it this diagonal on top of that yeah I, I mow it twice not because it needs yeah. it, just because I it's art to me it's yeah, fun I got gotcha. you that's what you want to look at see those guys driving by right now and they look at your yard, here's the angle they're going to be looking at it. Yeah, and that's that kind of the, the long, longest stretch of yard there. Yeah. So if you had it at an angle, it would really uh, look yeah, it'd be, good. It'd be popping. But we do, I mean, what everybody does, you, you mow the perimeter first, and uh, I, I think that's a, just a good pro move, and then get the, get the striping away. Now, if I had, uh, let's say, yeah, a lot of people work with a two- or three-man crew, Yeah. Uh, and you were out here and you saw this yard, like what would – you pull up on this yard and you got your crew like how would you instruct them did you you say one is it kind of known one guy's on the mower one yeah, guy so you already truck? have a sign who's mowing for the day who's going to be on the string trimmer so you're going to have a guy drive you know get the string trimmer and you know start working along that bank let's walk over here and look at uh, this doing so, some weed eating so uh, when you see a bank like this you you pretty much know like i'm not gonna be able to get the zero turn on it but would you <laughs> Would you consider pushing this, or you think string trimmer would be the way to go? Well, no offense, Jason, but we want to take on this account. Uh, <laughs> but, too high end, I understand. But somebody's we, throwing we call, weeds. This, we call this a PETA customer. Somebody's throwing a, weeds off a, the off the a road. A pain in the yeah, I've heard of PETA acronyms I like mean, that. This is this is weed eating material, and it's yeah. dangerous. You got a you got a cars coming by at 60 miles per hour. Yeah. So I would pass if if Jason called me to come cut his grass and make his cat that cash, I'd pass on this account for multiple reasons. But let's say you live here, it's a beautiful, beautiful property you got, Jason. Thank you. I'd I'd weed eat this. Yeah, that's what I do. Be honest with you, and I got the secret sauce. I spray on like the growth regulator to keep it from growing back. That's and back. A, that's a but, secret sauce. But you know, it's so weedy right now. It, it just needs some help. Let's just be yeah, honest with so, you. Yeah. So this is so you're gonna have one guy weed eating here while the other guy's mowing. Then whoever gets done first is gonna blow. Um, you don't really have any hard edges, but the, the same guy using the string trimmer will use the blade edger as well. Yeah. Now yeah. we are gonna get our driveway poured, so we'll have. We will have a hard edge, but like, what about these tree rings? You can see, um, if you saw a customer like this, would you like try to upsell them and say, hey, we can redo well, your mulch? Well, this, this, is a perfect, uh, this is a perfect example. Whoever mowed this would have got fired, all right, oh, my company. Oh, yeah. So they blew, okay? I don't know who mowed around here last. Well, but I'll they... be honest with you, it actually wasn't me. If you okay, well, to... I don't want to throw anyone under the mm -hmm. bus, but somebody actually mowed the grass clippings into this pine straw yeah. which is a huge eyesore so you, what you want to do 
is you want to look at where the um, grass is being shot out of your mower. You always, 100% of the time, friends, want that to be shooting away from the flower beds. Now, thankfully, this pine straw would be easier to blow if this was fresh. Yeah. It'd be easier to blow this off of pine straw, but if you got it into some fresh brown mulch uh, and all that, yeah. you're, you're gonna, in a high-end neighborhood, that's, that's no good. So never, ever, 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 you always look at what direction is your mower blowing and mulching the, the turf to, because this, this is, uh, we call this Chuck in the Truck, or Rick's yes, Mowing. Yes, this, this is, is terrible. Not, this is not championship mowing right no, here, friends. No, it's not. I don't know who did this. But uh, but you, would you try to upsell them a little bit on, and say, like, hey, uh, we need to, up, you know, refresh your pine straw, oh. put some new pine, you know, if you saw something. Well, like and this is just a little, uh, what we typically would do is only do full service. I don't, okay. I don't want another lawn bro on my property. So we're going to offer your lawn mowing, your fertilization and weed control, which we'd subcontract out to yeah. Russell Skipper from Solid Green Landscaping. We're gonna put in your flowers, we're gonna put in your mulch, we're gonna put in your pine straw. Our company is the only, we, we wanna be responsible for the excellence of your property, but we don't want some other green industry company showing up. We're yeah. gonna do it all. So of course we're gonna upsell them on that. And I really only want clients that want everything looking pristine. So yeah. pine straw, and you know, once or twice a year is common sense. So, but some fresh pine straw, and then you would take your string trimmer and make this tree ring really pop. Yeah, right. we called. can do that if you want. Well, we got a string trimmer over there and it's bothering me just looking at it. So <laughs> so, I ain't seen a, not, it's not edge, it's got, it's got a grass in it. Hey, Paul, we don't live here, man. I, we ain't lived here in nine hey, months. My I'm golf coach this. told me excuses are like buttholes. I'm going to have this Everyone thing. has one and they all stink. We're going to have this place popping, but look at that crepe myrtle. I mean, I'm sorry. Look at that magnolia, magnolia. tree. Magnolia. That's uh, I know the difference in crepe myrtle and magnolia, but that, that's us. And then how about this? What do we got here in the well, middle I'm of the yard? You, man, people are sabotaging me, throwing rocks in my yard. So, yeah, I, I would always make sure there's no rock in the middle of your yard either. Yeah, well, that I, could be a... What about skid steers driving all over your front yard? That's not been helpful for me. No. Anyway, we're making it uh, look better. Look at these ducks. <laughs> oh, I believe, Paul, I walk around picking up rocks all the time and sticks. So, all right, let's look at the flower beds. And, and you you kind of dill, dabble a little landscaping too, don't you, sometimes? And uh, so you probably know a little bit of what we could do. I mean, the mulch is looking right, don't you think? Or would it could it use just a slight yeah, touch I'd up? I'd, I'd freshen it up a little bit. <laughs> I'd freshen it up if, a lot uh, if it was me. I think we need basically a triaxle load. What yeah. about leaving the, the tags on your flowers? Is that good? You got a nice little lower petal on there. That I mean, that's fine with me. They were looking fine, and then they got stomped on them by the painters and everything. Yeah, yeah I'm kind of working on it. But if we get some fresh mulch in here, and then same thing here, what would you, you would do like a soft edge on this? To yeah, try so, to make so, this, um, reestablish this bed? Typically, the beginning of the year, you'll roll, um, if, if you're a homeowner, you might not want to invest in a bed redefiner. They're like 600, 700 bucks. But you get yourself a nice bed redefiner, do that a few years, you're going to have the, the strength of the, um, bed really defined and then you just touch it up weekly with the weed eater. I um, gotcha. That's how I like to do it. But I'm I'm very particular. I like a really crisp edge. Yeah. Well this one needs a little bit of help but we don't want to show you a perfect yard because you know perfect yard I need anything done yeah. to it. So um, well uh, so if we're mowing this, we'd make a perimeter pad. I think that's what we're going to do uh, right. in the video. We're going to we're we're not going to mow the whole yard. Show but me that championship we'll, mowing. Jason. I'll make a little pass around here. I got to drive back to land, so I don't want to smell like uh, grass. Yeah, I'll do a little bit, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna let you show fix that tree ring for me because it's bothering you. We'll go get. We'll it. do that, and then we'll. Uh, hey, hey, give the video a like too. <laughs> yeah, give it a like and subscribe, and check out Paul's Green Industry podcast and his best selling book cut that grass and make that cash on Amazon. I actually listened to the Amazon, the uh, Audible uh, version, and I, I like that. I like it when the author reads their own book. Thank you. So, all right, let's get started mowing.
like to cut my Bermuda inch and a half, but the problem is with these field lines, it's, it's gotten lumpy. I really need to level out the lawn to be able to cut it low, and I may have to actually go up on the cutting height to keep from um, scalping a little bit because it was a little bumpy or slow down, not go so fast, but we'll see. All right, Paul, what go, ahead. Go, ahead. go ahead. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What happens if you scalp it this late in the season? Will that pop right back or? Yeah, we've had tons of rain. The Bermuda, I mean, I've seen people that really let theirs get out of hand and cut it. It makes almost the whole yard brown. It, it's very difficult to kill Bermuda, but you know, it's not, it's not, um, like I said, it's just not being level that caused that because I, uh, the way those field lines are, we just need to smooth it out. Uh, Paul's going to demonstrate how to edge that tree ring so he can fix that and make it look really nice for us. Paul, this is your chance to fix this tree ring and make it look like something. Thing was so bad you had to go over twice with the edge and then one more time to yeah, polish just, it just off. Just imagine some fresh pine straw in there. Coach Saban is going to come try to get a recruit and come by. Yeah, they're going to say, who's that guy that lives in that white house with the awesome tree rings? Yeah. All right, we got to get out of here. It's about to start raining. Smash that subscribe button. Help uh, Jason get the 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> appreciate it, Paul. Talk to you guys later. Bye.